I'm here at the Supreme Court where all these people have gathered to express their views on whether or not gay marriage should be legal. Um, I just think it's really important that everyone gets the same chance at marriage and the same chance at equality. I really don't even understand why this is still, you know, a fight that's going on. Do you know of anybody personally who actually does oppose it? I don't think I could reconcile uh, friendship with a person who doesn't believe in equality for all people. So why do you think that marriage should be just one man and one woman? Well, marriage is ordained of God, and one, it's there's only it's the only way to produce children, and it supports society. Why do you think people oppose it? I honestly can't find a reason. Uh, why do you think people uh, oppose gay marriage? Or um, I don't. I really, I can, I don't think I can answer that. Uh, I think. It, um. And why do you think that, you know, there are so many young people who support gay marriage? <laughs> That's a good question. I never thought about it. It's uh, for them. Uh -huh. um, they skipped a couple, um, including shellfish, too. We noticed that there aren't really a lot of young people out there who are, um, support, or who are opposing gay marriage. Why do you think that that is? Because it's a generation who were fed with their mother's milk. It's okay to be gay, and if, if, you, if it feels good, do it. I think they're doomed. I think they came out of the womb doomed. I think there's no hope for them. I think their parents and preachers and teachers and leaders hated them and cocooned them in lies so they're without hope. That's what I think. They're a cursed generation. No jobs, no housing, no sense, no hope. Reporting from the Supreme Court, Catherine Timpf, CampusReform.org. Don't be hate. Don't be hate. Don't hate. Love is equal.